What's up YouTube? My name is Ayatha and welcome back to my channel The Indian Algo. In this video, we'll be discussing about the only criteria that you will need to enter some high probability trades. Okay, so it doesn't matter what strategy do you follow. If you apply the human behavior, if you apply the human psychology with what the price is doing, then there is a high possibility of you being right. So how does it work? So firstly, the algorithms, the market algorithm, they run as per the human behavior not as per the human behavior but they run against the human behavior so let's say at 9 15 as the market opens i guess i have discussed this in the previous videos as well as the market opens if you see a bullish candle and your bias is bullish if you see a bullish candle if you and your bias is bullish what you're gonna do obviously at 9 15 you will punch in a buy order right you'll punch in a buy order and the price starts moving higher higher here higher and just imagine the number of people who are entering this trade people are buying here people are buying here but if they're buying here the retailers are buying here then who is selling the institutions the institutions are selling because the algorithm they tells the institution or, or like the algorithm they works with the institution right for the institution so these guys what are they doing they are selling because this is where the human behavior is working 90% of the time. I mean, like, let's say that there's 100% people, right? And 90% of the people will simply buy in the green candles. Instead, institutions will sell on the green candles. And that's when you will see the prices moving lower. And this is what I have discussed a lot of time. Every time you see uh, an up candle as the price moves higher, doesn't matter in which stock or in which... Uh, index we are trying to identify this move early in the morning if the prices are moving higher you will see the prices reverse back down and this happens almost every day if i come here and have a look just look the, look at this the first candle here itself is a down move candle and then see how the re reversal took place and this is what we take advantage of i entered my long somewhere here and the price spiked up now, if you come here, obviously, in this case, the price was simply moving higher and it pushed higher. Now, it did not reverse back down. But if I come here, let's say this move, okay, this up move, this up move. This is where a lot of people are buying with the fear of missing out. This is where a lot of people are buying with the fear of missing out. This is where a lot of people are buying with the fear of missing out. And look at the price reversing back down. Look at these candles. Do you, do you identify these candles? They indicate something. Now, what they indicate is something we'll be discussing in a while. Sorry. So now if I come here, an up move and the price reverses back down. Up move and the price reverses back down. Okay. Now there's a down move. The price did not reverse back up pretty heavily. But it also depends on how your bias is. Let's say if my bias is bearish. If my bias is bearish, if I want to look for the price to move lower, I need to look for a price action that is moving higher in the morning. Okay, so I hope you get an idea of what we are going to discuss in some time. So if you see here, let's say I want to take a long trade. I need to look for price action that is bearish. That is bearish. And look at this huge candle and the price reversing back up. So what does this indicate? This indicates trapping. This is where we all are selling this is where we all are selling but the institutions are buying right in this candle and that's what we need to understand if you can understand these things before taking or initiating a trade then there is a very high probability of you being in the right direction or at least with your bias it doesn't matter what strategy you are following even if you are following a breakout strategy if you have a bias in your head and then you wait for the price action that i'm gonna discuss as of now and if you enter right after that there's a high possibility of you being right i'm not sure about how good your analysis is going to be but you can definitely take advantage of this so what am i supposed to look for let's say i have a bullish bias okay let's say i'm expecting that <coughs> sorry let's say i'm expecting that the market is supposed to move higher breaking above this particular level now in the morning I let's say what all uh, all of us do 90% of the people they'll buy at the breakout candle they'll expect that the price are moving higher okay so try to understand this 90% of the people are looking for a bullish move their bias is bullish and they are looking for a bullish up move but instead what if I look for a bearish move 
okay what if i look for a bearish move and then the price is moving higher so if i uh, clear this out in simple terms this means that to look for a trade in my bias in the original bias i need to look for a price action that is against my bias so if my bias is bullish if my bias is bullish i need to look for a price action that is bearish and if my bias is bearish i need to look for a price action that is bullish that's it this is what the institutions do and if you can understand this and wait for the right entry criteria before take or taking or initiating a trade you will have you will be able to avoid multiple stop loss hit and probably you will only hit one sl so where you were entering multiple times let's say you are entering a trade here three four times and then the price goes in your direction you can avoid all of those things and how you can do that is by waiting for a price action that is against your bias and then taking a trade in the direction of your bias so i'll repeat this once again guys let's say this is where i am this is a resistance and if the price simply goes up like this i'm seeing bullish candles bullish candles if i see a breakout breakout like this i'm not going to take a trade here there's a very high chance of the price doing this and as we see this this is where the price will then reverse back up and push higher so this is what i need to understand on the charts if i can wait for this price action there's a very high possibility of the price is moving higher okay so let's in uh, let's try to illustrate this once again so if i am bullish i need to look for a price action that is bearish so by bearish i mean there should be a climatic move to the downside or to the upside okay so by bearish here i need to say look for a price action that is a climatic price action now what is a climatic price action a climatic move is where the move is finished or over it may look very strong it may look very strong let's say if there is let's say if there is a very strong up move candle like this this is a green candle okay now this candle may look very strong with respect to these candles these small candles these small candles okay now people are entering in these candles with the fear of missing out expecting that the price will go higher but this is where the prices will eventually reverse back down okay so this is a climatic move this is your climatic move so if i come back here and let's say my bias is bullish it, at this point i need to look for a climatic down move i need to look for a climatic down move like this once i identify this climatic down move this is where i can expect the prices to push higher and once this level gets taken out or the price is sustaining this candle it's not pushing lower there's a very high possibility of prices moving in my direction okay so <coughs> if you guys are aware of what nifty did on tuesday what is that candle that candle is this climatic move if you see this candle this is that climatic move right here and i am expecting the prices to push higher now how it's going to be or like what was the price action that we'll have to look for obviously if you see this this is that climatic down move and the price simply pushed higher now there are some other criteria i'm looking for the price to probably first hunt this and then sustain and then push higher so that's a different thing however you have to put in your analysis no matter what analysis you do if you are looking for these entry criteria you can definitely have a plan of action okay so let's say let's say here at this point i have a bullish bias okay here i i have a bullish bias so look at these two 5 minute candles okay now what people do they buy in this candle they buy in this candle they buy in this up move candle up move candle or even before these candles all the buying is done here okay all the buying is done here they are putting the stop losses here putting the stop losses here putting the stop losses here now what if i wait for a price action that is against my bias what is my bias my bias is bias is bullish so i need to look for a price action that is bearish so the first candle itself was bearish 
I will not enter in this scandal because that is again a climatic move. Look at the, how strong the scandal is, and look at how strong the scandal is. Climatic, right? Climatic, and this scandal itself is climatic. Now I need to look for a climatic down move, and this is what that climatic down move would look like. That's when I started building up my long positions, and we ended up exiting our trades here because again, what are these candles? These are all climatic candles, and this is where the price reversed. back down now if you see this let's say at this point i have a bearish bias let's say let's say at this point i have a bullish bias okay let's say at this point i have a bullish bias and uh, though we didn't had a bullish bias here but let's say if i have a bullish bias i need to look for a price action that is against my bias and that should be climatic it shouldn't be average candles okay it should be climatic at least this big range okay and from here, if i if you compare this candle if you compare this candle let's compare this candle okay let's compare the this candle i'll just lift it up here so if you see this none of these candles are bigger as big as this down candle was so that's a climatic move here <laughs> all of these <laughs> sorry all of these down candles they do not indicate climatic move the price definitely reverses back up okay but they do not indicate climatic move and then when you come here look at this up candle very precisely and very similar to this candle right this down candle very precisely in size a uh, very similar in size with that candle right so that's a climatic move to the upside so this doesn't signify this doesn't signify an up move instead this signifies a down move Okay, this is what you need to look for on your charts because what are people doing here? People are buying here. People are buying here. People are buying here. But the institutions, they are playing with you. That's what you need to understand. Now let's say people are selling here. People are selling here. People are selling here. Now there's a high possibility all of this would have been hunted and then the price would have fall, fell lower. But that's what you need to wait for. This is where I would have entered the trade if I had a short bias. But I was already done. Uh, i booked the profits here then i did not initiate it any trade that's how you need to look for and understand the price now if i come back here let's say if i'm here i have a bullish bias right i have a bullish bias look at these equal lows and look at these two candles very bearish right these two candles is where the prices should reverse back up so this is where i reentered the trade okay i did not sorry i entered the trade here this is where we entered the trade and we saw a good spike up and my exit was somewhere here i did not held on to the trade much higher that's what i need to look for up for price before entering a trade i need to have a price action that is against my bias i won't be buying these candles i won't be buying in this candle okay i need to look wait for a price action that is against my bias and then look for a trade that should that would push push the prices higher all right If I come here again, <coughs> sorry, again, look at these two candles. Even if you have a bearish bias, do not sell in these candles. These are all climatic candles, and they represent that, and they indicate that the prices are supposed to push higher. This is an indication that the prices sh price should push higher. Okay, do not buy in such candles. Obviously, they will reverse back down. and this is where a lot of people would get trapped in all right so don't do that that's what i'm trying to make you understand here guys always look for a price action let's say i have a bullish bias here always look for a price action that is against your bias then you will have a high probability of the price going in your direction let's say at this point you have a bullish bullish view now will you enter the price in the, this candle or in this candle no you're not supposed to do that you need to first wait for a price action that is bearish uh, and it should be a climatic move and then the prices could possibly push higher because if you see these two candles this candle and this candle look how climatic these candles are very bullish they seem very bullish right and that's when the price eventually reversed back down like this there was a huge fall and look at this candle again climatic down down candle the price simply reverses back up now we had a short here as well this candle and this candle these two candles were very climatic there was a bearish flag pattern 
though we don't uh, trade that the we were looking for some other indications okay and then the price simply fell lower that's what you need to look for in price always do not sell on these candles do not sell on these candles okay because if you're trying to catch this if you're trying to catch this the prices will eventually reverse back up and you don't want to get into such moves unless and until you do not see a price action that is against your bias if your bias is bearish you need to look for a price action that is against your bias so even if you enter here there is a possibility that the price could go lower obviously you need to have levels marked on your charts you need to know where the price is currently to be able to do so right so if you see this this is where let's say i have a bearish bias if i'm trying to sell in this candle or in these down candles look the price won't simply push lower but if you can identify and wait for these two candles that could be a possible climatic move then you will see the price pushing lower that is how you need to proceed here now again even in this at this point equal lows a climatic move and a reversal so you are not supposed to sell whenever you see a bearish down candle and that and that is very strong so don't don't do that that is where you will be trapped look at this up move that's a climatic up move and the market simply reverse back lower all right okay let's have a look let's look for a few more examples even here let's say this is a trend continuation right this is where this is where the trend is continuing higher so at this point look at this these two candles they hunt a low here and this is where <coughs> sorry and this is where the price was sustaining around this point and it simply spiked up okay so this is what we need to understand and look for obviously even i got trapped on this day i thought that this is the down move and then the price is supposed to push higher however sorry however this candle was a was an up candle and a climatic move it reversed back down and we uh, got a stop loss hit but after this confirmation this is where we re entered the trade and the prices were pushed higher okay let's have a look here again same thing this is where the there was a climatic down move and then the prices were not willing to push lower and this is where we entered a long trade obviously we have some levels here because of which we were able to take a long trade so that is very important no matter uh, doesn't matter uh, what strategy you are following if you can understand the price action around your levels th there is a high possibility of you being in the right side so if you see this this is where if you are trying to buy a breakout if you see here look at the b uh, bullish candles there's no climatic down candles here no climatic down candles here they were all bullish candles so if i'm trying to buy a breakout having a bullish uh, price action or viewing a bullish price action there's a very high possibility of that move not continuing so if i can wait for a bearish price action and then the price pushing higher that is when there is a possibility of the price going in my direction that's what we need to wait for if we can do so there's a high possibility of us being in the right direction look at this candle this down candle and look these three candles were not being able to break below this low so that the fall is not supposed to be continuing here and we saw an up move that is how we need to proceed all right guys so this is where i'll end the video if you guys like it please make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel like the video and share the video as much as you can and comment down in the description um uh, uh, what all topics do you want me to cover in the next video also there is a link in the description through which you can connect connect to us and thank you